35,000. That is the number of innocent souls put to rest since 2012 by gun violence. Did they deserve it? Absolutely not. And yet here we are talking about them in past tense. My name is Mohammed Adam and I come before you to talk about the tragic gun violence epidemic that occurs in the United States. Since the horrifying school shooting in Connecticut Sandy Hook Elementary School, there has, there has since been more than 1,600 mass shootings. While the families of those who have been killed in these ludicrous incidents drown in grief, the government watches with glassy eyes. The interest of the public and the unprecedented ideals of gun violence continues to be subverted as if it is not a real issue. Gun violence is a cruel, inhumane, and a catastrophic problem in an only in America dilemma. In 2018, the shooting at a bar in Thousand Oaks, California, marked the 307th mass shooting in 2018. To put that into perspective, when that occurred, it was 307 days into the year, meaning that the U.S. had nearly as many mass shootings as days. As many mass shootings as this days. How disappointing that every day a possibility of a mass shooting occurring is still active and real. In 2015 alone, 2,824 children. I repeat, 2,824 children, faultless children who are clueless of this dangerous and evil world, where they aren't even safe in the place that they spend most of their lives in, anticipating their birthday, their kindergarten graduation, and awaiting to tightly hug their parents once they get out of school, died by gunshots, and an additional 13,723 were injured. If we are capable of putting up walls blocking immigrants from coming in, then we are able to burn those very same walls that surround politicians to do nothing about gun violence as they are blindsided to those who have suffered. My call for action for you is to demand background checks. Make sure that arms and guns are out of the hands of those who have criminal records. Demand more complex systems for buying guns. It should not be easy for monsters to lawfully obtain these guns that can harm many. And finally, and I cannot believe that I even have to say this, but an 18 year old should never, should never have access or ownership to an assault rifle. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? An 18 year old who has barely grasped on responsibility in adulthood is all of a sudden granted a right to an assault rifle? What planet are we living in? I'll tell you. The planet where we learn from the planet where we learn from Parkland, where we learn from San Bernardino, where we learn from the synagogues in Pittsburgh, where we learn from Columbine, where we learn from the mosques in New Zealand, where we learn from Watertown, New York. But we did not learn to do something. In fact, anything for those 2,824 children. Do as what is needed until this place can be safe for the future generations and children of America. Enough is enough. Thank you.